Uh, so, we arrived uh, on the third step our, of our process. The first step of the process was setting MediaMaster 3.1 onto Grand Mainnet 2. The second step that we did was uh, controlling the Media Master by patching the layers inside our MA desk and using the MAnet 2 to control our all parameters from our software. The third step that we will do here is enable the CITP protocol so that you can load all the thumbnails from our server into the lighting desk and you can start using the thumbnails to control the software in an easy way. If we go to setup, network, you will see that for now the CITP network configuration is disabled and bordered red. If we push this, you will see on the top right corner that we can enable the CITP. We will enable the CITP and of course now we first have to patch our server. So we can add a server and we will automatically detect the media server in the IP address that you set it. If we select this server, you will see that the server comes into our media, master, uh, media server window with the IP address that's selected. We will here select the fixture layer, which is Archaeos, so that your library sub-attribute and your image sub-attribute, which corresponds with the library folder and the desired image, is uh, configured automatically. Now, all the settings are done properly and we can update our thumbnails. The button for update thumbnails is located in the down right corner. As you can see here, the CITP command is stated update thumbnails, so the blue bar will indicate the process and the evolution of the loading of the thumbnails. As you can see also, on to the Media Master interface, the green light next to Media Server extensions is enabled, which determines that there is communication between the lighting desk and the Media Server on the other hand. As you can see here, our process is almost completely completed. Once this is finished, we can start working again with the lighting desk and control the media server. Okay, our thumbnails are uploaded. If we select now our first layer again, first layer please, we can turn it on and you will see on our interface that layer 1 is turned on. Now, second step is to control a visual. We select the uh, library folder, for example library folder 3, and we can here select as in the input the different visuals. Our live folder 3, for example, has four vi visuals, but if we say I want to go to library folder 2, you will see that we have a lot more visuals. As you can see here, all those thumbnails and the names also correspond exactly with the thumbnails and the visuals that you can see here. We have perfect bidirectional communication between the desk on the, fir on the first hand and the software on the other hand, so we can start uh, using the perfect combination of both now to program our show in an easy way.